Hey guys and welcome back to the lagoon. Uh, so today for you we do have another Funko mystery box from Undiscovered Realms. This is again, this is another one of the autographed ones. But before we get into that, if you guys are enjoying the videos, please leave a thumbs up. It really does help us out. Uh, and if you guys want to join us at the lagoon, subscribe to the channel. That way you can keep on all the action and future events that we have planned. And, um... We are doing a uh, giveaway when we get to 100 subscribers. Mm -hmm. um, everybody will be eligible for that giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe. Yep. Um, so this is what we'll be giving away. Oops, upside down. Oh. <laughs> so if you are interested in getting that, please give us a subscribe because you will have a good chance. 100 people is not that many. So. Yeah, so 100 people, once we get 100 subscribers to the channel joining us at the Lagoon here, we're going to be giving away this double uh, V-Box, which does have four packs of Champions Pathetum, so you got to get yourself a good shot of either getting that Rainbow Rare yeah, Charizard, the Charizard or, out the, of here. or the um, Shiny Charizard as well. All you have to do is subscribe. Yes, we really do appreciate it, guys, from all the love and support that you guys give us. Uh, so with that, though... Let's get into this mystery box. Uh, we'll put in a link in the description of all our other videos that we've done of our Funko uh, Funko Pops. Uh, we've, like I said, this is going to be our third box from Undiscovered Realms. We'll again put a link in the description of their website so you guys can check them out. Thoroughly surprised and love so far all the boxes that we've gotten, but unfortunately none of them have been worthy enough to join the lagoon. Uh, but hopefully, maybe this one. I'm will, picky to be fair. This one, <laughs> Very. <laughs> hopefully picky. this one will be the better choice so as always we're going to give you guys the first look and then we'll do our little countdown and then we'll look um so let's crack into this box here oh i dropped it how much you want to bet it's another anime i mean it's it's well, how many? to be Two fair so you looked far? at the picture they have a lot of anime it. ones and to be fair they they sign pops a lot i mean yeah it's not uncommon actors. that they're at conventions so yeah, voice actors for sure generally um <clears throat> excuse me sign a lot of their box uh, so again it looks like there you go they got their little calling card here uh they said that they, our first box we did they did not put this in this but now they're starting to put them in there oh it's really cool nice little give you a little information all the different handles um, one little cheetah whole wrap uh, this is in a protector, so again, once more once again, all of them do come in protectors. To figure out what's the top. Okay, that's the top. Alright, ready? Look away, close your eyes. Alright, one, two, three. Another. Okay, yes, it is. It is anime, a board. Right? It's an anime one, once again. This one, I though, I've never heard is. of this one. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's Boruto, so I guess so. That's from the new kids series. We'll give you guys a closer look at that one. Oh, uh, that is signed by the voice actor of Mitsuki. Uh, Mitsuki, I believe that's how you say his name. I don't even know what he's saying right there, but that's pretty interesting. Sake something. I have no idea. Hmm. But there's the pop right there. Give you guys a nice close look at that signature and whatever the phrase he's saying right there. Really nice pop. It's again that comes in a nice pop shield protector there. Um, this seems like it's a common pop from this wave. Yeah, let's... So it's probably not going to be the pop itself is not going to be worth that probably much. But not. I mean the autographs are kind of cool in that aspect of the voice actors. Um, so we're going to take a quick little look on the Funko app here. See what this pop is worth. Oh yeah. <laughs> so six dollars according to the Funko app, which yeah. takes from. PPGs. PPGs, so. yeah. So, um, with the autograph, though, we've noticed this kind of jumps the price up a little bit. Uh, I'm not 100% sure who this voice actor autograph is. I'll take the protective feeling off of the pop show box here. Um, that way we can get a clear look at that autograph. It's interesting how Pop Shield always wraps theirs with a protective peel of some sort. Never, never a fan of that, but Don't worry about that. Maybe. Anyway, but give you guys a closer look at that autograph there. 
Again, it all comes in a pop protector, so pop shield protector, really nice condition. Uh, but unfortunately, oh, well, he's got some weird like dragon snake thing there. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> it's like a, oh, it's like an electric snake. Whoa, that's kind of cool. But nonetheless, I don't know if you guys can see him in there, back in the corner of there, like right up in there. But unfortunately, once again, not worthy enough of joining <laughs> the lagoon, especially the Naruto ones. We're not huge fans of Naruto. I've I read the Shonen Jumps back when they first started coming out, and the Shonen Jump versions like that. So when like the manga just started coming over here, I started I was reading that, um, and then kind of lost track. I never really watched the show too much. So I, it, I don't, especially Boruto. I, I know this is like the second, like it's with Naruto's son and a bunch of the uh, kids from the older generation. But I, I, again, it's not a pop that's going to go into our collection. It's cool. Um, I like the design of it with the little electric snake, but it's not worthy enough of joining the lagoon. So that'll definitely be going in a future real uh future uh whatnot auction uh no data when that'll be but that'll definitely be added into that auction for sure um so with that though we hope to do more i know they're still available there and they've been very stressing the fact that you know telling people that these are limited i know a lot of people are second guessing and questioning uh, the legitimacy of it i've been seeing a little bit um from the comments and stuff but i feel they are like i said like when they posted this it was black friday or yeah. shortly after when they posted this entire picture of the stuff now granted they said in the description that some of these pops do have duplicates and triplets and potentially more i mean there's multiples of certain ones which judging from the anime ones mm -hmm. i can understand you know the anime voice actors do sign a lot of pops so they come in like mass order so it makes sense for them to still be there when they have so many influx now the rarer ones you know like yeah, the horror ones and gone. stuff like that like, there was a godzilla one there was a um right I, I mean we haven't really looked at some videos of other people opening them maybe we might just to see what they get uh, to kind of see what and feel out what has been picked but they do very they do specify that all of these things were pre-packaged and randomized and when they um pick them up so when, when they ship them when the shipping label sprints they just grab a random box that's already pre-packed slap the label on it and send it out to you they just so happen to keep getting on them yeah so i don't know because i think what was it our second our second box was the vegeta wasn't it yeah yeah that's right so i don't know i like so again that right there tells you because i know the the dbc and the naruto pops were in completely different lines on like the first picture like if you're judging from that kind of picturesque where they had them all towered on one thing um so those were from way far away from each other um on different levels so it's not like you know oh with it you can kind of categorize how many pops have been picked up um but we'll definitely check out maybe look at some other videos kind of get a feel for what because i know in one comment one person said they bought two and they got a Naruto pop and then one of the autographed Michael Myers. So, Which is one that I would want. It's So it's clearly that, and that was like a few days ago. I don't know when he purchased them and when he got them, but that's like a couple days maybe ago is when he to, commented Maybe that. we need to do two next time. Maybe. I don't know. Probably maybe. get two anime, but. I mean, if we do, we do. You know, that's the game you play with these Funko Mystery Boxes. Yeah. Um, you're not always going to get winners. You're not always going to get your, you know, it's a hit or miss sometimes. Uh, but for sure, uh, we'll definitely probably try to get some more, especially if they're if they're still available. And like they said, they are limited. Once they run out, they run out. Uh, they're sixty dollars a piece. If we didn't mention the price, uh, plus shipping and uh, tax for wherever your state's tax is. Um, but yeah, for sure, they they definitely they package it really well. It comes in the protector, uh, comes in bubble wrap, all wrapped up. So they do package these stuff, these pops, pretty well. And I'm judging from that packaging, they do the same if you are just trying to pre-order um, any Funko Pop and Common Pop with them. Because I know they do do that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure with all the... I think they tweet or tweeted, I think they Instagrammed a message to all the followers about um, the Funko Fair products and stuff. That I'm not 100% sure if they're doing pre-orders on that stuff just yet. Because uh, it's a huge influx of stuff right now. I don't think they're wanting to do 
anything with that right now. Um, but I'm assuming just from the packaging here, they do the same for all their other items as well. So I'm going to I say they're a trusted company. I don't think they're trying to scam people. So that's just my take on it. Um, but with that, that's going to do it for us today for this video. We Hopefully we can do some more of these. Um, maybe we might dive into Chrono Toys a little bit more with their weekly mystery boxes. We might do um, where we each buy one of those boxes and see who gets the higher value pop. Kind of a little competition between us. That's a little fun activity. <laughs> uh, definitely comment in the video if you guys want to see something like that. We uh, definitely would like to try to do it. Uh, but again, we're here for you guys mainly um, for your entertainment. Anything you guys want suggestion-wise, please put it in the comments. If there's any particular uh, pop culture or some kind of collectible, some little mystery item that you guys want us to do, uh, put it in the comments. We'll take a look at it and see if it's uh, within our ability to get that item. Uh, and if it is, then we uh, will potentially do it. Uh, we're not, like I said uh, before on this channel, we're not here to just do one thing. We don't just do Funko. We just don't. We don't do just Pokemon. Uh, we try to do a variety of things and apply to and appease different audiences. Um, but yeah, so we thank you guys for joining us today. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. It really does help us out. And if you guys want to join us at the Lagoon, subscribe to the channel. That way you guys can keep up on all the future events uh, and all the action that we have planned here at the Lagoon. And once again, we are doing, we are going to be doing a giveaway on this double V-Box. <laughs> Uh, as soon as we try to, as soon as we hit 100 subscribers, we're so close, um, so close. I mean, we're about halfway there. We're at 49 halfway right now. There. We're at 49 right now. We need one more to get that 50 mark, and then from there, you know, we got 50 more people to go. Uh, but hopefully, we can ramp this, uh, ramp it up, and get to, to that 100 subscribers. That way, we can do this giveaway. Uh, we're really excited, and that's generally what we're going to be planning on doing um, in the coming uh, milestones. So, like every. 100 or 100 uh, every 50 or 100 uh mile markers will probably um do some sort of special giveaway um just for this first one though we're going to try to get to the 100 mark uh, next one we'll determine where we want to go with that uh so again like i said thank you guys for tuning in today thank you for joining us at lagoon i hope you guys have a good night and we'll see you guys around lagoon sometime have a good one guys <laughs>